Good evening and welcome to History Today. I have been informed that we must, on tonight's programme, make every endeavour to stick with an academic discipline to tonight's topic, church and state. Professor Lewis. Well, we must remember that for large parts of our country's history, church and state were effectively one. This spiritual bureaucracy is reflected in the severity of monastic orders at the time. <laughs> Under the terms of his oath, a Benedictine monk, for example, could not only never have sexual relations with a woman, nor did he ever talk to a woman, nor even approach within 50 yards of a woman. I am aware of the strictures. And that's you on your 18 to 30 holiday, that <laughs> Of course, Charles I was executed in a dispute essentially concerning church and state. Hansard records that following his guillotining, uh -huh, the body jerked around grotesquely for 20 seconds, writhing about in a pitiful display, his arms and legs shooting this way and that uncontrollably as the gathered crowd laughed and spat. Indeed. And that's you dancing, that is. <laughs> that's the way, aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh, I like it, aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. See an old chipped saucer lying against a brick wall in an alleyway. Is it a green saucer from an institutional tea set? <laughs> yes, and it's gone brown where some tea has stained the white bit. seen such an item of discarded bric a <laughs> That's your satellite dish, that's it. <laughs> the monarch who could be said to have truly united church and state was Elizabeth I. Her power was iconically linked with her refusal to marry, so that it became part of her mythology that she remained inviolate, known to all as the Virgin Queen. Yes. That's you, that is. <laughs> That's your most manly nickname. <laughs> Essentially, throughout her history, there has been a constant power shift moving from church to state, <laughs> from state to church, thus, and then back again once more. I am aware of the continual fluctuation. And that's what everyone does when they stand downwind from your mouth. <laughs> oh, cool, blimey, cool, the country. 